It seems like raindrops can come in all different forms. We've seen torrential tropical rains that you can't even see two feet in front of you, or that small fine mist where it feels like the clouds are just spitting on you. But really, the size of raindrops is really quite limited. In fact, the largest raindrops ever found are only between eight and 10 millimeters in size. To give you some perspective on this, a matchstick head is only about three millimeters and the average ladybug is about six to eight millimeters. So right near that largest raindrop ever size. So when you're looking for something to do on a rainy day, how about capturing some raindrops with the kids? This is how you do it. You take a pan with some flour that's, you know, sifted so it's fairly fine and you get all the clumps out of it and you smooth it out in your dish. And then you stick this outside the window right as it starts to rain. But unfortunately, it's not raining today, so we're gonna fake some raindrops on our own. All you need is to create some drops. It's not too hard to do. Just slowly drop them in your flour as if it's raining outside, and they actually get collected by the flour. And, and with this kind of hardened raindrop, you can now sift out your raindrop and measure it and check out the size. That clump is actually the raindrop. Now that's bigger than what you might find in the real world. We're faking it with a turkey baster. But with your friends and family, you could measure this out. You can look at that weird oblong shape. Yeah, raindrops don't fall in that teardrop shape. They're kind of squished down circles. So if your kids are asking you about the rain, this is a fun experiment you can do with them at home.